Hey, I am back with more information on uh, just my seeds and what I bought this year so that I know what I got for next year when I order and I'm like, wow, I did not have enough Cosmos or I did not have enough Fox Glove or whatever, or that totally did not grow well or that grew awesome. So, so far, well, I've watched a ton of videos. I have certain people that I'm following on YouTube and um, Instagram. I have just a ton of people that I've been listening to on podcasts to get information on how to best grow flower, cut flowers. Um, so first of all, I'm gonna start with foxglove because that's one of the ones you're supposed to plant first. So I got foxglove from uh, Flore. I have uh, Snapdragons. So I actually have three different brands of Snapdragons. So, um, and they're all different varieties. So this one is um, from Flore. Wow, I cannot hold it. Um, it is Sherbert Toned Chantilly Mix. It sounded super pretty and I thought I would get at least one from there. Everything there went out of stock so fast this year that I was like, oh shoot. Um, but I'm glad that I was able to get something. Um, Johnny's, I got Potam Potam Potomac? Potomac Lavender F1. Um, Snapdragon and then this one's just like an old one that my brother gave me for Christmas which was nice of him but he said that he just found them in our barn and was like I'm gonna put them in the stocking so that was nice of him it's kind of funny though uh, for Yarrow which I'm not like the biggest fan of because as a country girl I like see everyone and I'm like oh that's kind of ugly it's I've never seen like pretty colored Yarrow before um, but we have Summer Berries, that one is from Flore, and then we have Colorado Mix, which is from Johnny's. And it's kind of just an experiment to see, like, which one, which varieties I like better, um, or which company, I guess, because, um, I, frankly, you just don't get a whole lot from Flore. They come in smaller because they're, like, specialty cut flowers, and Johnny's is more of a developed, um, older company for bigger flower farms or just bigger farms in general so that's yarrow um and then we have cosmos um i have three varieties from flore i have double click bicolor rose i have double click mix and i have double click snow snow puff um last year all i grew was single cosmos and at first they did not start like it took them forever to actually start growing um or start blooming not growing because they they grew really well and then it was just like two rows of these bushes um and my dad was like is this gonna like turn into anything is this gonna flower and i was like or are they just weeds and i was like no they're definitely flowers just give them a hot second um and so i have this is actually what we planted last year and i'm still gonna plant those because why not it's just a mix and they're really old i want to say these are from like this says sell by 1207 yikes so these are really old but they grew last year so why not grow them again next year um and then i just ordered a couple more online i ordered an orange variety and i ordered one that's called pop socks it's a pink variety and those were both from um a specialty seed organic seed place um that i found on instagram Next, I have forget-me-nots, Chinese forget-me-nots. So these are just regular forget-me-nots. This is just old seed, like I said, that my brother gave me. Um, and then we have Flores, Chinese forget-me-nots, Blue Showers. I think she also has one other variety of forget-me-nots on her site, but I thought I would just try these out this year. Because um, I didn't, I did not grow forget-me-nots last year. Have no idea how they're gonna grow. Um, but I figured I would try it out. Also, Snapdragons have not grown them yet. This, like, last year, Yarrow did not grow it. But it grows really well wildly, like, in the wild or in our area. Like, in the ditches and stuff. Uh, next, I have Sunball Crespedia. I think that's how you say it. But it is from Johnny's. Um, like I said, they're awesome because they have all the information you'll ever need on the back of a packet. And if you don't, if there's something else... There are so many extra pieces of information that they have on their website about everything. It's amazing. And then get ready for a whole lot of florets. So we have our floret. 
Is it Foray or Foray? I think it's Foray. That could, I don't know. I like to think that I know how to speak some French. Um, and you would say it Foray in, in French. But we have stock. This is apricot stock. It's the only stock that I got. Never have grown it before. Thought I would try it out. So I just got one variety. Then we have status. Same thing as stock. Have not grown it before. Just got one variety. This one is light blue. Um, and I uh, thought I would try that one out too. Then we have calendula. I did grow this, but I grew it in like a, it was in like a wildflower mix last year. And it was, it did awesome. It was so pretty. And I, I actually had no idea what calendula was until last year. So, um, I got two varieties from Flore. I got bronze beauty and I got ivory princess is what this one says. Um, and those, yes, I did grow those last year, but like I said, it was not Floret. It was another brand and I just grew them in a, it was in a wildflower mix. Uh, then we have three varieties of straw flowers. So I have, these are all Floret, straw flower rose, candy pink, and apricot mix. Uh, I really want to try drying flowers because I just think it's really pretty and these are really good for dried flowers. Also I love the colors of them and I know that when you dry straw flowers that they stay the same color and I, I want to try that out. So got three varieties, have not grown straw flowers ever before. Um, we shall see how that goes. Next we have China asters. So I did, huh, here's a funny story about China asters. So last year. I got a couple packs of them, had not grown them ever before, um, and I planted them in, my mom has some like cute little buckets sitting outside, and I planted them in her buckets, and they, only one of them grew, um, but it was this really pretty pink, and I was like, wow, if I can get that to grow next year, that would be amazing. So, I have four varieties of China Asters here, and these are all from Floray. I have Valkyrie Pink, I have Rose Quartz Mix, I have Apricot Swirl Mix, wow, well, I'm all into the pinks, I guess. Um, and I have Moonstone, and Moonstone's that really pretty light purple. Um, and like I said, last year I only got one um, actual seedling to sprout. So hopefully I can do better than that this year because I actually, like, I think last year I just had given up on them or didn't water it or I don't know what I did. Or I forgot that it was there because I did not take care of it at all. But one of them grew. So let's see if I can actually take care of it this year. Uh, then we have Globe and Amaranth. I did grow Amaranth last year, but not Globe Amaranth. So from Florea, I have two varieties. I have um, Pastel Mix. And I have Sunset Mix, and both of these are from Floray. Um, have not grown the Globe Amaranth before, but I thought it would just add a nice little pop in my cut bouquets. Um, also, going back to the Asters, I did order, I think, one other variety of Aster that hasn't come yet. That's from like a seed company. It's the same seed company that I also bought that, um, the orange and the bright pink Pop Sock, um, Pop Socks Cosmos from, but that Aster, I can't think of what it's called right now, but it's like pink. It's super vividly pink. And I think pink is in the name, but I can't remember what it's called, but that's all right. Maybe I'll show you when it starts growing. Um, and then moving on to Celosia. So I have... <laughs> I didn't realize that I bought this many Celosia, but it's fine. So I have um, five from, they're all from Floray. I have Rainbow Sherbert. I have Coral Reef, um, which is also called, is this the same as Coxcomb? I think it's the same as Coxcomb because it looks a lot like it in the picture here. I realize that everything is backwards. I'm going to try and fix that when I post this so that I flip my face around or something. I don't know. I'm still figuring out how to do this. But 
pretty sure coral reef is the same as coxcomb. Maybe not. I could be totally wrong. Flamingo feather, which like I, it looks a lot like bunny tails to me, if you know what bunny tails are. And it's pink though. And I was like, oh, that's so pretty. And I showed my mom and she was like, don't we have that growing like in the ditch here? And I was like, uh, no, no, I don't think so. I mean, we might, but I'm gonna grow up in my garden too, so. Um, then we have Pompous Plume Mix, um, also from Floray. Oh, we have two. We have two Pompous Plume Mix. I know there's one. I tried to order one of everything that I wanted from Floray, and I think that's the only one that I accidentally ordered two of because I just I had a list written down and I just added everything to cart real fast and just checked out really fast because I knew that everything was gonna go out like that on Floray's website. So. Okay, next we have, we're going back to Johnny's Seeds. So I have um, Feed Review. This is um, the Magic Single. And this is actually an organic, an organic variety. Um, we live in an organic dairy farm. And I'm hoping that next year I can somehow transfer everything to be organic. Like if I can just borrow, buy everything. I found some seed stores online that I could buy organic stuff from. But not everything is organic. So this year I was like, I'm just not going to go all out, organic. all out organic. I'll try that next year. If I, if I want to, we'll see where things, where things end up. Um, so that was from Johnny's. And then we also have um, two varieties of marigolds from Johnny's. Um, I was not going to grow marigolds, but then I saw somebody post a picture of a bouquet with marigolds and eucalyptus. I think it was like, and was it lemon balm? I don't know. Or lemon basil or something. I don't know. It was such a pretty bouquet. Like cut market bouquet. I was like, wow, I have to get marigolds just because of that. So this one is a Locento, Nocento lime green. And then I got um, cocoa gold F1 marigold. And both of them... Um, I made sure that they're the giant series. I think they're the giant series. It says something like that on the back. Maybe they're not the giant series. I don't know. We'll find out. But anyway, don't usually grow marigolds. Not that big of a fan of marigolds. Um, but somebody had a really pretty bouquet and I was like, why not just try that out? All right, now we're going on to like um, more greens, fillers. So we have basil. We have dark opal basil from Floray. Mmm, so pretty. And I heard that it smells so good. But, like, I just love the dark leaf color. It's so dramatic. Um, adds a little pop. And then, um, this one is from, um, Menards. It's burpy. It's, um, lemon balm. And technically, I don't think you're supposed to use it in... I don't know if anybody uses it for a, a filler for bouquets, but I just know that it smells really good. And so I was like, maybe I'll just add that to some of them. We'll see if it would even last in a bouquet. I have not used it before. I um, have not grown it before. The last like five things that I said, I don't think I've grown any of them before. It's all an experiment. And then Cress, this is from Floray. Um, there was another variety of Cress, I think, from Floray that I wanted to try, but I think um, it was already sold out. Um, but this is emerald beads. And I have not grown it before. Um, but it didn't look too difficult. And it had a good germination rate. So I was like, okay, whatever. We'll try it out. All right, then we have zinnias. So I kind of went all out with the zinnias. Everybody says that zinnias are the best cut flower. Come and come, they're cut and come again. And so, um... They should really last you all year with like if you succession plant them once so if you have just like two plantings of them so i think i'm gonna split everything in half we'll see okay so i have um i have like i said i have 14 varieties i think it's 14 so i have quite a few um so first of all we have candy mix and i think this is it looks like the cupcake variety if you look on there um in the picture but it's candy mix and then we have desert sunset mix um also from Floray. 
we have lily put mix these are so these are smaller um but that same circle shape um not the cupcake and then we have Veneri's giant carmine 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 i think it is and that is um Veneri's giant mixes or Veneri's giant varieties are supposed to be the best for cut flowers um, is what everybody says so and then we have Veneri's giant wine such a deep pretty color and then we have um Mazurkia Mazurkia not really sure how to say it but it's um it is a like yellowy red blended um kind of flower it looks a little bit different in the picture that you can see um we have oklahoma ivory so these ones are a little bit smaller um and they're like they're ivory i think they're more of a yellowy than like a i think when i think of ivory i think of like white but i'm pretty sure they're more like yellow um queen red lime honestly i was not gonna buy these um either because I just think the Queen Red line, or the Queen Red, the Queen series, the Queen Red series, I don't know, because they have, like, they have lots of different, um, Queen, I don't know, I feel like they're all limey, though. But anyway, I'm not the biggest fan of those colors, but then I saw somebody's bouquet in an Instagram picture, and I was like, ooh, maybe, maybe I'll try it out. They're not hard to grow, so, zinnias aren't, I mean. Um, then you have Senora, so this one I was, like, freaking out over, because, I just love the shape of it. If you look, you can see like it's a little bit different than the other ones. Um, and it's more of an orange, orangey, peachy color. Um, and at first I didn't think I added it to my cart before I bought it. Um, so I was like checking out of my cart and I realized um, that I, I didn't think I bought it. And so I had to go back and I added it. And then I saw that I added two and then I deleted one. Anyway. I have it. I have what I wanted. And then we have Zinderella Lilac. So this one is also like more of a cupcake style. A little bit different. Um, but that's Zinderella Lilac. And then we have Zinderella Peach. Which they're both like, I think it's called cupcake. I might be wrong. I might be something else. But um, Zinderella. And then we have Veneri's Giant Coral. So back to that Benary's Giant again, which is supposed to be really good as a cut flower. And um, Benary's Giant Salmon Rose. And then last, but definitely not least, we have Little Flower Girl Mix. And this one um, is like super rare, I guess. So fluoridated it. Um, I, I don't know if they created it or how they came up with this Friday, but... I heard that it's brand new or like you know most people don't have it um and i'm curious to see how it grows it's not very big but the colors are really subtle and i really like that all right we're almost done we have a couple left um so we have bachelor's buttons sorry i'm gonna set this down because i have to take this off so we have bachelor's buttons um these ones are from flore classic romantic and classic magic whoops i mean they look the same so it's not really worth showing you both packets but um those are from flore and i did grow bachelor's buttons last year they grew pretty well um i only i didn't really know what i was doing and so i could have planted them earlier because i'm pretty sure they're cool whether well, like a hardy flower um so i could have planted them earlier but now i know um, and then we have Blue Boys, and we have, like, what, four packets of those. And these ones are, like I said, just old seed. They're from, like, yeah, 1207. So, these ones are old. We'll see if they even grow. I mean, most seeds, I heard from somebody that seeds can't expire, or, like, don't expire, but I don't know if that's true. Okay, then we just have two randos. Haven't grown these before thought I would try it. They're super pretty. I just saw them when I was shopping at Menards. So we have these bright red chrysanthemums. They're called Robinson Red. And then we have Shasta, Shasta, Shasta Daisy, Shasta Daisy. 
and those are white um, with that really pretty yellow just like that very typical daisies which I've always thought are super pretty um we have more dahlia um, seeds these are from Flore 2 it's called bees choice mix and I have not grown these before um, it's new this year I think she's also giving a bunch of these packets out with her book that if you order it or something um, and then I have ornamental squash I have Jahardale so one of them is I think one of them is white and one of them is green pretty sure I don't know which one is which but there's two of them this one is called Valenciano 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 and they're both from Flore. Um, I just thought they'd be pretty to like spice up my table at the um, market, at the farmer's market this year, like during fall. I don't know, just be cute. Um, then I have these really old um, Gypsophilia, Baby's Breath. There's three packs of them. Um, I have Sweet Rocket from Flore. This is the Pale Lavender variety. Have not grown excuse me, have not grown it before, don't know how it's going to grow, thought I would try it. And then I have a Sweet Williams, I have three packs of those, um, old seed, have not grown them. These are both, I think they're both bi, biannuals, 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 so it takes a full year for it to develop and then it'll actually flower the next year. Um, which, I didn't know that about Sweet Rockets until after I bought it. Um, and then we have, I have two things left. So I have this perennial wildflower seed mix. And it is from Eden Brothers. 15 species of wildflower seeds. It has like lupine, coneflowers. I can't remember what else is even in it. But just like a lot of stuff that is perennial. And there's a couple places around the farm that I was like, oh, I'll just spread seed there. And then I'll come back every year and just like a little patch and be cute. Um, and I can cut from it. So, there's that. And then, last, definitely not least, we have um, some sunflowers. So, sunflowers, I only have ever grown one, one singular sunflower in my life. And I grew it on accident last year. We were planting peppers, and I think somebody had eaten a sunflower or something, but somehow a sunflower seed got planted in the ground and grew right where one of the peppers was also growing and so I didn't pick it because I right away was like I think it's a sunflower um because I had that big stock and you can just tell from the leaves like oh that's a sunflower um and so I just let it keep growing and then in the middle it was right in the middle of our garden um and it was really pretty so I successfully had grown one sunflower before and I was like well hopefully I can get these ones to grow as well so we have from Flore we have Pro Cut Red Pretty sure, pretty sure only 20 come in one of these packets, which is not a whole lot. And most this is mostly just an experiment to see what I like so that I know for next year what I really um, want larger quantities of, which I'll probably then buy from Johnny's Seeds or like Geo Seeds. I think it's called Geo Seeds is the other one. Um, I really like Johnny's though. So we have Pro Cut Red. We have Pro Cut White Light, which is um, the white with the lighter inside and then there's white night and that one has a darker inside but i think that was already out of stock by the time that i ordered ruby eclipse which i mean by its name is like a redder um dark inside um really pretty sunflower pro cut gold which is way more like a typical sunflower that you think of um and very classic sunflower pro cut gold then we have Johnny's seeds, and I haven't grown. So last year, the one that I grew was a single stem sunflower. There's two kinds of sunflowers. There's single stem, and then there's branching. And um, branching, I bought from Johnny's the strawberry lemonade mix, and have not grown it before. No idea how it's gonna do, or like, I still have to do research and see how far away, like how how wide to. Um, to space them and everything because yeah it says don't transplant 
so these are probably gonna like sunflowers are probably gonna be the last thing that I plant because they only take usually they're like 50 to 65 days I think for them to um, get for, for them to go from seed to flower which is so fast every almost everything else is like 80 to 120 days I think the longest is the lisianthus which I think is like 160 days or something like that okay then we have um, two varieties from Burpee, which is like Menards. Um, and I opened to see how many were in here, and I think it was only like eight. I think there was like eight seeds in here. Yeah. Um, but I just thought they were so pretty. Like that color is gorgeous. I love that like yellow rim around it. So this is a Chianti hybrid, I want to say, is how you say it. Um, and like I said, this only came with like eight seeds in it and it's not branching i don't think it's branching i'm pretty sure it's um yeah long lasting cut flower pollenless blooms which is what you want you don't want something with pollen in it if you're selling it to people i mean like, you're obviously always gonna have something with pollen in it but like try to get pollenless if possible if you're selling them as cut flowers um, but this is, I don't think it's branching, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be done. And then we have Velvet Queen, which I was like, ooh, that orange with a yellow rim, I love that. That's like, super pretty. Um, I love the brighter or like more dramatic colors. I don't, I don't think I really got anything white, like any white flowers this year really. Maybe, maybe like one or two. Honestly, I don't know if I even have one or two. But I'm definitely going more for like market flower, um, mar market bouquets, cut flower bouquets for market. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, because those ones people want more like colored, really pretty colors um, in their bouquets. And like I said, it's all an experiment. I've never done this before. This is my year one. Uh, last year, I just grew my own. Um, I only had dahlias, I had, um, nine, nine, um, they're not bulbs, tubers of, uh, dahlias, and they were all, uh, the, the gigantic ones, dinner plate dahlias, um, and I had white, pink, and purple. The purple was definitely more pink than it was purple, I could barely tell that it was, like, I could tell the difference between the pink and the purple, but it wasn't by much. Um, and then um, the white ones, there's just so much, it's so much easier for them to get eaten by anything. Um, or just like, you can even tell like rain stains them and stuff. So um, I stayed away from that. Cause like I'm growing for market. I'm not growing for weddings. If somebody wants my wildflower, like wildflower kind of bouquet for wedding, that's totally fine. I would sell that. But I guess like Shasta daisies, those ones are like a little more white, but they have a yellow to like brighten it up. And baby breath, just a video. Um, other than that, so yeah, I'm excited to see what actually grows. Like I said, it is um, January 30th today, so I still have like. Um, another whole month before I plant most of these about I mean a month or two or three for some of them so all right that is all I have for now thanks